Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here to talk about one of the best and fastest ways to earn XP in this game that is somewhat hidden. Because you know that doing the main quest is going to reward you with a ton of XP, but you can also get XP or experience points by doing side quests. But the reason it's a little hidden is because in this game, they're not called side quests and they don't appear in your quest log. They're called mysteries and they appear as blue circles on your map. And there are different kinds of mysteries. There's the standing stones, there's the Cairns challenge where you have to stack the stones, there's the altars, but the one that I find gives the most XP in the shortest amount of time is the world events, which are represented by that icon that has three points, kind of looks like a star. So those mysteries give a massive amount of XP. You'll see in about five minutes in this video, I'm going to earn over a thousand XP. The reason sometimes people, including myself, talk about farming XP by killing enemies is because maybe you've done all the mysteries in the game or you've done all the ones in a particular region. And so the region this mystery is in is one of the high power regions of the game, Gloucestershire. But you should focus on doing mysteries in whatever region that you happen to be in. And while some of the types of mysteries do increase in difficulty as you go to the higher power regions, like the Karns Challenge, you'll have to stack more stones or stack them higher. Or for the Animus Anomalies, there'll be longer, more difficult platforming challenges. Or for the Standing Stones, they'll be a little more tricky to figure out how to make the icon appear. However, for the world events, they do not increase in difficulty. Again, as, as far as I can tell, this is one of the highest power regions in, of the game that I'm in right here doing this mystery. And I'm basically just giving this woman a ride on my horse. That's all that's involved. There's no fighting. There's no combat. There's nothing difficult. So that's another tip that if you're really looking to do some uh, world events to level up, you can do them pretty much in any region of the game. And they're all going to be pretty straightforward and probably involve just talking to a few people, some type of fetch quest scenario. Sometimes there is some combat involved, but you could always decide you're going to skip it and come back later. There's no penalty for trying out a world event and then stopping or quitting and coming back to it later. Which brings me to one of the things I really like about the world events in this game is that they're all self-contained. They're their own little mini stories that can be done in any order and are not connected to the main quest. And if you've been following along with the on-screen dialogue, you'll see this world event is about little Eivor, one of my favorites. And in addition to being a really good way to get XP to help you level up and become stronger for the main quest, I also like the mystery world events of themselves as kind of fun little stories that was a good change of pace from the main quest, which was often intense and bloody and dramatic. And a lot of these mysteries are just kind of fun and more lighthearted. So be sure you look on your map to see if there's mysteries nearby. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.